Criminal justice is not responsible for your PC and or game files. Always monitor your own risk. I also recommend backing up your game files before following this tutorial. Thank you and enjoy the show. What is going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today guys, as you know, criminal justice, I'm sorry, today as you know, um, GT5 has updated, I don't know why I said criminal justice. GT5 has updated as most of you already probably know by now. Um, if we look into our directories, um, the version of the game now, I believe is 24, 2545. So our new version is 2545. Now, if you're like me, okay, and you have multiple copies of Grand Theft Auto V, and this is going to be for Steam and Epic users. Um, now, if in my main directory right here, the one that I have open and available, that's the one that updated, okay? You see that's 2545. But if I go back and I check, say, my firefighter, my security, SLRP, or tutorial uh, files, those have not been updated because they were not open and available, okay? So if you have multiple files, as you can see, that one's on 2372.2, the last version. Um, so if you guys have other files, multiple files, as I do, then you will see that those files that are closed off and not open, in other words, written out like this, they have not been updated, okay? Those files have not been updated. Um, every single one of them here have not been updated. The only one that's been updated is the one that is open, okay? So, with that being said, Steam and Epic users, open up your file explorer and go to the hard drive in which you installed your Grand Theft Auto V on, okay? Uh, Steam, it's going to be Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, and then GTA Grand Theft Auto V, okay? So once you have that open, go ahead and leave your directory open. Uh, Epic users, I'm getting to you, okay? Just hang tight. There's a little bit more of a process with Epic users. That's why I save you guys for last. So just hang in there, Epic users. I'm going to get to you. Um... Uh, let's see, um, Epic users, open up your file explorer, go to the file in which you install GT5, then go to Epic Games or Rockstar Games, whichever one it is, and you will also notice in your directory that the only one that should have, have updated is the one that you have open, which is 2545, okay? If I go back, if I go back and open this one up, this one should not have updated, as it has not, okay? Now... With that being said, um, let me see if I have a shortcut in here for the other one. Okay, there's my epics. Um, I'll make sure I got both uh, directories up. Okay, now here's what we're going to do for Steam users. Um, for epics, hang tight, okay? Hang tight. Um, let me go ahead and do this real quick as well. Let me grab these. If you guys watched my video last week, you should have these backup files. You should have these backup files right here. If you guys watched my video last week, you should have these, ba or the other day, actually. You guys should have these backup files right here. I, I don't want to hear any excuses about why you don't have them because I've been warning you guys since last week. Did a vlog the day before I did the video. Uh, the back, uh, How to back up your video. I did a vlog the day before that. And then I did the, back of the, the video on how to back up your game version. I've talked about it all week, and now here we are. Here we are, guys, okay? So you should have these files right here. All right, you should have them. So, Steam users, let's go ahead and click our Rage. And I'm gonna show you guys exactly what happens in the midst of an update. So right here, you should be getting this window. The current game version is not supported. Install game version 2545. Latest game version unknown. Supported game version is 2372. So what that means, like I said before, when the game updates, there'll be a different version in the GTA5.exe. That's what this is right here, the 2545. This is our supported game version, okay? So, this says right here at the bottom, Rage Plugin Hook has detected that supported game version 2372.2 is in the backup uh, cache. Do you wish to revert this game version? Note you should always keep your game and Rage Plugin Hook up to date when possible. You want to click yes and go ahead and revert your game. Go ahead and click yes. Steam users, this is for Steam users. Go ahead and click yes. Okay. Now, like I said, guys, if the backup in the in the in this does not work, there's other ways around it. Okay. So once we're here, it should pop this window up. If it does not pop this window up, click your rage, hold down your left shift key, 
until the window does pop up, okay? Let's go over to game settings, and let's go down to back up. I'm sorry, revert game version. Go to revert game version. And right here, you will now see, now I don't have two versions, but I have the one that's supported right here, okay? So, if I go back into my Steam directory, it should say 2372.2, all right? Let me go here. There it is. It reverted the game. Now, whether it works or not is a different story. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click save. I'm gonna click save and close. All right, I'm gonna click save and close. Now, I am going to attempt to launch again. Now, if the game launches, I'll exit back out of the game immediately and we'll get to epics, okay? If not, then we'll have to take another route, all right? But everybody just hang tight. Steam Epic users, hang tight. I am getting to you. You're going to get this prompt right here. Should get it because we just had an update. <clears throat> Hope everybody's having a great week so far. Uh, we are we are now in hump day, I believe. I believe it is. We're in hump day. Uh, are we in hump day? We are. It's Wednesday. So you're going to get that. You're going to get that window right there. Um like a first time initial setup window but let's see if the game launches and uh it's gonna up update the rockstar game launcher now this is sometimes where things can go wrong even when you back up your game through rage because a lot of times if they throw a rockstar if they because when they update the game they usually update the launcher right so this is where things can go wrong and why we have to back up those other files that you see sitting on my desktop okay because they update the rockstar game launcher which bypasses our backup sometimes Sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes. Okay, so it didn't, it, it, it didn't bypass. I'm sorry, it did bypass the backup. So, if you're getting this window right here, unable to launch Grand Theft Auto V, if you continue to have problems launching the game, please verify the integrity of your game files. Do not verify your integrity. Do not verify the integrity of your game files. If you do that, you're going to update the game again, okay? Here is what you want to do. You want to close out of this, okay? Just close out. Close out of that. And we're going to close out of this, okay? Now, this is where the next step comes in. Epic users. This is the step you're going to take. Steam users is the step you're going to take, okay? So, I want everybody, Epic and Steam users, to open up your GT5 main directory, okay? I'm going to open up both of mine. This here is my, this here is my Epics. And this is my Steam. So, let me go ahead, Steam, since I've already done uh, that with you, let me go ahead and get to Epics. And Steam, you're going to take the exact same steps. All right, the same exact steps, you're going to take them, okay? Um, so, with Epics, you should have these files right here. Backup Epics, all right? You should open up this folder right here, and you should have two of these files right here inside of your directory, uh, inside of this folder right here, ready to go. All right, like I said, if you watch my video, then you should have these files, all right? Now, if you do not have the files for those who didn't back up their game, again, as I always do, because I love you guys, I want everybody to enjoy LSP4, I will send these files to Mediafire and I will link them in the description below, okay? I will link them, they're already uploaded, I will link them for you guys, for Epic and Steam. Now, once you go get those files, you'll have to download those files individually. So Epic, file, Epic users, for example, you'll have to download these two files, okay? Steam users, you'll have to download the four files, and I'll show you what I mean here in just a minute. All right, as for now, Epic users, here's what I want you to do. If you go in your directory and look at your, at your EXE, it's going to say, it's going to say, 2545 okay so you want to highlight those two files that you backed up from that folder and you want to pull them into your main directory epics pull them in your main directory just like this okay and you just want to simply drop them in and you want to replace the two files in the destination go ahead and replace them okay now I want you to refresh your directory and scroll down and you will now see 2372.2 right there okay so, with that being said, let's close out Epics. You can go ahead and try and launch if you want to. If not, you can wait around on me and we'll see what happens with that, okay? So, Epics, you are clear to close and clear to launch, all right? Now, um, Steam users, same exact thing. Open up that Steam backup that I sent you on uh, Mediafire or the ones that you backed up yourself. Um, even though the game reverted, even though the game reverted, sometimes we have to take this extra step for some reason 
sometimes dropping these files will work sometimes it does sometimes it doesn't okay we'll find out here in just a second so steam users open up your grant the thought of five main directory and highlight those four files that you backed up okay not the ones you directed but the ones you backed up all right highlight these pull them into your main directory just like this and drop them in and replace the four files with the same names. Go ahead and replace them, guys. All right. Now, let's go ahead. Let me grab this and close out of that. And let's refresh our directory. And we're still going to have the version 2372.2, okay? So now, let's go back, close out of this, and Steam. Let's go ahead and try and launch our game. Let's go ahead and click Rage. <clears throat> Epic users, I'm getting to you. I'm getting to you. But you should be clear to save and launch. So let's see if this fixes the issue right here. We'll find out. If it doesn't, then there'll be another we'll find out some other way around it. So let's see. We can hope for the best, right guys? We can hope for the best. And there it is, right there. There it is, guys and girls. The game is firing up. It's launching as you can see. There it is. Um, I'm going to go ahead and exit my game. Uh, so I'm just going to go like this real quick. And I'm going to go here. And I'm going to just exit the game real quick. Now, Epic users. Epic users. We've dropped our files, correct? We have dropped our files. So we are going to go to... I'm going to open up my Epic Game Launcher real quick. As you guys can see on Steam, you guys are safe to, go, safe to go. That's why we always pull those files out and copy them in the folder just in case that Rage backup does not work. That's why we do it. That's why we do That's why I tell you guys to do that, okay? Um, so, give me just a second here, guys. I'm firing up my, um, my Epic Game Launcher here. And I hope you guys uh, are enjoying your week. Hope you guys are having a great week. Um, now, Epic's, Epic users, we're going to go ahead and we're going to launch the game, okay? We're going to launch the game. It's going to give you a prompt. You're going to click yes. All right. <clears throat> and your game should fire up just fine, too. Your game should fire up just fine. Like I said, guys, uh, the files that I just showed you how to install, they will be in the description. They'll be linked in the description for you to download, okay? They'll be there for you to download. So they'll be there. For, I'll have them named for Epics, use Epics and Steam. They'll be down there through Mediafire, okay? You just got to download each file individually. So again, Epic users, you will have to download two files. Steam users, you will have to download four files, okay? And there it is, guys and girls. There is Epic users up and going. Um, guys, with that being said, that is going to do it for this video. I hope this helped you out. Um, if it didn't and you didn't back up your game, um, just keep this in mind. Please do not come to our channel asking when LSP for GT5 and Script V is going to update because we do not know. We do not know when that's going to happen. Um, don't go to the Discord asking because they don't know. If you didn't back up your game version, then then don't go to the Discord asking for support. That's just how it is. You know, you you, you have to back up your game version. Um, now, if you did back up your game version, okay, if you backed it up before the update, if you backed it up and you're still having trouble, then you are more than welcome to go to the Discord. But if you did not back up your game file, there is absolutely nothing we can do for you. All right, so as you guys can see, the game is fired up. It's working. I'm going to go ahead and quit this right here. And that is, that is going to do it, guys. As you guys can see, Rage Plugin Hook fired up, GT5 fired up. Um, for Steam and Epic users, guys, I will leave the links for the files in the description below. I said last year I wasn't going to do it again, but I can't help it. I love you guys, and I want everybody to enjoy, um, you know, the fun in modded GTA 5 and LSPFR. So with that being said, subscribe if you're new. Smash that like button for me. Click that bell and click off so you know exactly when I post new content and when I go live as we do live stream five days a week right here on the Criminal Justice Channel. Be sure to check out my second channel, CJ Farms, in which I will link in the description, guys. With that being said, until next time, stay safe, stay awesome, and be humble. I will see you all in the next video.